What's going on, guys? I'm back with another haul. Uh, Peter B here. So, um, this week haven't been too much successful with um, my L case hauls. I've been, I mean, honestly, L case are short and few in between here. So, I know there's uh, been a couple on the L case, or sorry, on the short cards. And um, I got some last week, and I only managed to get three this week. But luckily, there were some goodies. So, um, actually, I got four, two that I've already opened. So, I'm going to start up with the ones I've already cracked. I got myself the red highway hauler and the 64 Chevy Chevelle. This thing is a beast. I mean, for a mainline, the detail on this is incredible. If I ever learn how to do a wheel swap, I'm definitely going to customize this baby. This is just too sweet. So, um, yeah, those two I got. Cracked those open. Um, then I ended up picking up a 99 Ford Mustang. Eh, you know what? I got it because it's a Mustang. I love Mustangs, but not really my favorite casting. Maybe the colors I'm not too crazy about. Who knows? Or the wheels. But anyways, it was there. Picked it up. There's the other Chevelle. This this thing's just beauty. You know what? I'm going to probably pick this up as much as I pick up Skylines. And uh, that's going to be a nice one to have. And finally got myself the El Camino. The Treasure Hunt. This, the Fiesta, and I um, forget which else. I actually like the Twinduction as well. Probably my three favorite uh, treasure hunts of the year. Oh, and Stalker, of course. I actually love the Stalker as well. So I would actually say this and the Stalker are my two favorite of the year. So I'm glad I found this. I'm really hoping I can find another one because my theory is always get two. One to crack, one to keep packaged, um, and or one to give to my son. So however it works. Anyways, I'm, I'm hoping I can find another one before they move on to M because it sounds like it's going to be a very short lifespan here. Uh, they might move straight to M after this. So, anyways, I'm going to keep looking. And next, my last die cast haul of the week. Or, yeah, we'll probably say the week. I'm pretty much done for this week. Um, this is Wicked Automax, or sorry, Motormax car. It's actually, um, originally was supposed to be for me. But, you know, I was there with my son, and he absolutely loved this car. Wouldn't let it go. He just loves cop cars as much as I do, so... At the end of the day, it is a toy, and my son absolutely loves it. So I'm going to unbox it right now, but uh, once this is done, I'm going to give it to my son to play with. So I'm sure he won't roll it around or anything like that. He's probably going to keep it on display too. I think he's got that, uh, I don't know, he's just got that thing of him that he likes to keep certain things in packages too. Kind of like Papa. But uh came prepared because I know these bad boys it's a 124 scale, so 124, 118, they usually require some screws to be indented, as you can see. So I try to do this fast. Uh, let's see. Not sure if you guys can see in the background. I'll show you guys in a bit as well, but I uh, ended up finding um, the Elite Brett, uh, Brett Hitman Heart um, toy at Toys R Us. So I'm pretty stoked about that because I had the Ultimate Warrior, and that's going to make a perfect pair in my eventual uh wrestling display that i'll have love me some wrestling too guys so uh, almost done with this unscrewing here sorry for the delay guys and i think i got it or at least one of them there we go so this is the 1986 dodge diplomat and i had this in a 124 scale Gave that bad boy away, but hey, found it in a bigger scale, so I can't complain. It's got opening doors. It's got an opening hood as well. Let me just see how I can pop this. I know I've seen it. There you go. It's got an opening uh, trunk, I mean, or sorry, hood. The trunk doesn't open, unfortunately, but uh, nonetheless, for the price, it's a very, very nice car. So I'm going to try to move the camera so you guys can have uh, better lighting. So... Here we go. This is the rear. It's a really nice job that you guys did. I'm not sure if you guys can see any detail on the inside. I mean, it looks like it has a chrome um, light signal. It's got uh, some detail for the speedometer in there. The tires are rubber. The engine work on this is always very simple. Just black plastic inside. And let's close this up so you guys can have a good look at it. 
as a car. There you go. So 86 RCMP Diplomat. Looks like it's got a little scuff on the front fender here. Did I notice that when I when I bought it? But anyways. Nothing I can complain about. It's the only one I had anyways. The only one they had, and it's been a tough, tough car to find. So uh yeah, man. There's a little Canadian flavor here for a police car, so that's pretty cool. And um last but not least, like I mentioned, I ended up finding the uh Bright Heart Elite toy right here. The Ultimate Warrior I actually had from from before. I think I got it just before Christmas. I got it at a toy warehouse. But the Elite has been really tough to find. And uh, walked into Toys R Us and they had it there. They had a whole bunch of HBKs and just one Bret Hart. HBK, I guess, is still not a fan favorite here in Canada since it's a screw job. <laughs> so, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the week. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to play with this bad boy a little bit before I give it to my son. And I'm sure he's going to have a blast with it. So, hope you guys have a good week hunting. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.